for a significant memory of art? Um, well, growing up, we didn't really have any art classes in the school I went to. It was really, really small. So growing up, I was definitely a tomboy, actually, and there was no art in our school or around my family. Um, except I remember my mom was a painter and my grandma was a painter, so we would have different paintings hanging up in the house. And that was about the only exposure I ever got. You know, growing up, I would see my, my mom's painting of her barn and I just always thought that the best artists were the ones that could get it to look as close to real as possible. So the photorealistic paintings, the photorealistic drawings, I thought those were what really mattered. And, you know, when I came to state um, and at least started studying art, studying what art was really about, I knew that it was more than that. And um, it's, you know, it's about the communication and it's about um, the yeah. decisions of the artist. It's about the process. And there's so many more things that go into it rather than being able to make it look exactly the same as a photo. at a piece of art and know exactly what you're saying without you actually having to say anything. There's so many different avenues to art than just drawing, you know, and making something look like something. So I think people really underestimate themselves and think, well, I can't make art because I can't draw. Well, no, there's a lot of other things that you can be doing and a lot of it just it goes back to time. If you're willing to spend 10 hours on a project, you're going to get a good project, you know. And some people are a little bit defeatist about it and they get, you know, 10 minutes in and they think, oh, I don't see any results yet. Like, it doesn't look like what I want. And they just don't understand that it's about um, layering and uh, giving it time to grow. So. It kind of takes me to another place and that might be a little cliche, but um, I find a relaxation in drawing and in painting and in art that I don't find in a lot of other things. Being able to sit down for, you know, on a really long painting for 50 hours and just be able to like knock that painting out. The entire process of the artist is so provoking. And a lot of what I do is just really snap decisions. I like being able to look at a painting and understand the different decisions that an artist had to make. You know, how, how thick do you want this to be in comparison with this? Being able to think of different complex systems is very important. And, um, and that's, that's the way I work. I like just making quick decisions compositionally. You know, knowing that this is a record of tons of movements that I've made. You, you can look at this and you know exactly that my arm went like this. You know, and that's, it's really awesome to, for an audience to be able to um, interact with the artist that way. Um, and just pick up on little things like that is really, really interesting. I don't like standing in front of an easel for too long. It, I feel like I can't see it as well. I can't move around it. It's always hanging in the same spot. I can either, you know, move up close to it or farther. That's about as much control as I have as far as how I view the painting. But when it's on the floor, you know, I can sit in different places. I can move around it. Um, you know, and it also gives me the versatility that if I want to, I can hang it up on the wall. I usually have kind of an idea of what I want it to look like in the end, and I stop when it gets there. Um, but of course, things never really turn out the way you plan. <laughs> so, um, you know, you just, you kind of have to feel for it. Being an artist is um, being able to be messy and like find um, different things in the mistakes that you make and still working with them. So, I've thought about it a lot recently and I've decided there's definitely a difference between um, an artist and a designer. They organize content and I would say I'd be able to do that and I think they're a lot more aware of composition and the different elements in the whole. There's some freedom that the computer gives you that you know paint doesn't. You know if I put a line down and I decide that's the worst line I've ever painted you know there's nothing I can do about it. I have to wait for it to dry and paint over it and you know go through a long process. Where on the computer you know you <laughs> click undo and it's you know it's taken care of for you. Do you want to tell me a bit about this piece? 
<laughs> uh, yes, this is one of my um, my photo pieces. Those are my own paintings in the background that I built frames for. It was kind of a crafty photo for me. I, I got to do the physical processes that I like. I got to make all of those different things and then put them together into a composition that I enjoyed. You know, like I said, it's a commentary about my own art. I, as an artist, struggle on whether or not I'm making a good life choice, you know, whether I'm going to get a job later on, you know, support a family or even support myself. Um, and, you know, sometimes you go through critiques and the, the art student lifestyle and you wonder, you know, if you're good enough. And this piece just really um, is just kind of communicating that for me. I don't know where my art is going necessarily. I don't know who's going to look at it or if people look at it, if they'll like it. Um, so I thought a little gallery above a toilet was really, really kind of a funny way of expressing that. It's one of those things where before I was an art student, I just always thought it was a hobby. I always knew I could make art if I really tried and if I worked at it. But now I've, I've just seen that it's it can't be a hobby for me anymore. It's something that is, I do it without thinking about it. I'm at restaurants, at tables, and I'm folding napkins in, in, in interesting ways. Someday, hopefully, um, maybe get stay in academia and um, into the more like educational side of art and you know show people like teachers have shown me in the past that you know it's possible for me to be an artist it's possible for everyone to see art in everything and create their own kind of art so I feel like I've gained the tools and the knowledge now that I can make informed decisions about my work where I couldn't before and because of that my work is advancing much more quickly and um, becoming a lot more successful as, as I'm getting older and working on it more.